Hello all. Today we will be continuing with bacterial morphology and anatomy and we are discussing about bacterial capsules. Bacterial capsule. Bacteria secrete a viscid material around the cell surface. This viscid material may be very organized and sharply defined. If this viscid material is organized, sharply defined structure, it is called as capsule. Example, it is usually seen in Streptococcus pneumoniae. If this viscid material is loosely undemarcated secretion, it is called as slime layer. If the viscid material forms a very loosely arranged undemarcated secretion, it will form slime layer and it is seen in leuconostac. The capsules are very thin to be seen under light microscopes. This very thin capsules are called as microcapsules. Some bacteria have both capsules and slime layer. The slime layer are invariably made of polysaccharide or polypeptide. The capsules made of polysaccharides are usually seen in Streptococcus pneumoniae and that of and and those are made of Polypeptide are seen in anthrax bacillus. Some bacteria which produce large amount of slime will produce mucoid growth on agar. It has stringy consistency when touched with a loop. Next, how we demonstrate bacterial capsules. Usually, slime have an affinity for basic dyes, so it is not visible in gram stained smears. So we employ special capsule staining where we use copper salts as modens. We can demonstrate bacterial capsules by negative staining in wet films with Indiana ink. We can see clear halos around the bacteria against black background. These clear halos are bacterial capsules. And usually Capsular material are antigenic and can be demonstrated by serological methods. When we mix the suspension of capsulated bacteria with a specific anti-capsular serum and we examine it under microscope, we can see a very prominent capsule and it may be swollen due to increase in the refractivity. This is called as capsule swelling or quilling reaction. It was first demonstrated by Neufeld and it was used in typing of Streptococcus pneumonia in the pre-sulfonamide days where the lobar pneumonia used to be treated with anti-capsular serum. Next, what are the functions of capsules? It protects bacteria from deleterious agents like lytic enzymes and it contributes to virulence of pathogenic bacteria by inhibiting phagocytosis. If the capsule is lost by mutation, it will make the bacteria avirulent. And also, the repeated subcultures in vitro will make the capsule will make the capsule lost and thereby the virulence of the bacteria will be lost. That's all about bacterial capsule. Thank you.